I'm on the last little bit now. And a couple of things I'm going to show you that will tidy this up. I've done it on all the others, but I haven't done it on these yet. Yeah, let's see. And now the... That was the black now. The 175. see there's just a scruffy edge to that. Now we've got to straighten it up a little bit. Let's just make that just a little bit more. Acceptable. Right. If you've got one of these, that's great. But if you haven't, don't try it with anything else. Just leave it. Because this is being a point you can get really close and you can just blend the colour put it all together you see all those tiny little pinpricks of light where your paper is showing through it's all covered now that's the first thing you do the next thing we do is we use the white right on the very edge just to tidy it up. Now you may not see a great deal of difference but there is. And it also, by putting the white back in again, you also make it a little more solid a colour. Okay, now that's pretty good. There are still a long way to go, but we're getting there. So the next thing we're going to do is to work on the top of this. You can see how it's working so far. Okay, now we're going to work all the way down there. Then I'm just adding a little ivory into the white. All around here. It's not very noticeable, but it's just a, a touch of colour. There you go. It doesn't have to be everywhere. It's just as long as we get just a little tone in there, just, just run over here again. There we are. I think that's it. Right. And the next operation is a delicate one. What we've got to do is to do the edges of the uh, zebra up here. Now we we'll start off by putting in some grey. And this also extends down. You see these lines, you can probably just pick them out. They'll be on your reference picture anyway. And you want to go into those lines as well. It's a little a ruffle at the top. too big but we've been putting some 175 in here as well in a tick good 
Okay, well, I've just got that. Now, I think we can turn it around this way now. Protect your picture with some cartridge paper. And we 175. Now, I'm going to go all the way down. Let's do a few so that you can get an idea how this works. Now, it also comes from here. So, the, these stripes end up there. I think I've done that up there, you see. So, let's see. Continuation, really, of those stripes. So, that is good. Now, we want some black. to the, the colour shape. This is quite tricky now. What we want to do now is to bring down some of that colour. Like that. Now if you haven't got one of these, you're not really going to be able to do it very successfully. You can use a, a light grey, like a 270 for instance. That would work. And just drag that back. And see how that now comes back down here and fades into fades into the white. Lovely. Now I'm going to do that all the way down. Always come back the other way too with the white. I think that's very successful. Worked out well. Do I need any more black? Well, I don't know whether I want too much. I don't want to make it black on there. Uh, the colour I've got on there at the moment is absolutely right. Just come along here with that. It's just like a very dark ruffle. Excellent.